Shrooms. Sheetums. Like, follow, share the channel. All right. Subscribe to this mug. You know, we got bills to pay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now let's get into it. We brought together six. All right. Let me guess off rip. Let me guess off rip. All right. She looked Hispanic, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. She looked Hispanic. She looked Arab. So, you know, there could be a chance. Now, I know there is white passing black people. And she is definitely more Caucasian than black. Because the braids do not look good. I'm sorry. They don't look good. Lord, forgive me. She looks Asian. She don't look like she has a lick of melanin in her. Not. I can see here. I can see here. Yeah, my brother over here. He, he looked like Hispanic, like Moroccan type shit. You know what I'm saying? But my guess. My guess is it's one of these two, bro. I mean, she low-key got the Wilt Chamberlain height. So she might be, you know, part black. That's where she get her blackness from. So uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with her right here, bro. And I know at the end they're gonna say some shit. That's like it's probably they're gonna switch it up and say it's her or something or her. I don't know. Let's go. I'm locking in. Her locked in. I'm biracial. I am biracial. I'm biracial. I'm biracial. I'm biracial. I'm biracial. One of them is. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm tripping. I thought biracial as in like they got you know half white, half black. I was just too okay. Okay, I'm tripping. If the I'm tripping. survives, they win the entire prize. So in that case, Who is the odd one out. Oh shit, I'm tripping. So in that case, yeah, like yeah. what's your ethnic? Yeah. Background? Um, basically, my mom is Indian and then my dad is white, so I'm Indian. I can, I can, I can see that. I can see that. I'm half Taiwanese, half white. Well, that's so. cool. Okay, I can um, see him. Half Korean, half white. Okay. Um, I'm nah. fourth black and then my mom's white. Yeah, I can um, see the I'm blackness black in there. And how French, but white. <laughs> I was uh, kind of suspicious of Daria and Ella. The hair, yeah, I thought her was kind of a distraction, like as a ploy. I don't see half, uh, the American, blackness in her. How did your yeah, I believe that is these two, bro. Met at a movie Those theater? two girls, Ella oh, and her, her whatever her name is. Came in, and he just had a crush on her, so he'd always keep coming back and just watching movies. So. Really yeah. wholesome. <laughs> my dad was a tennis coach at University of Central Missouri, and my mother was an international student learning tennis, so that's how international okay. student. He threw that in there. Yeah. <laughs> I see it. She said, Oh, you mentioned international students, so I thought she was targeting me, so I thought, Mmm, okay, maybe white. she's the mole. Yeah, I see, my I see, parents I see, met I see, I see. in grad school. Um, they both went to Georgia Tech. Um, my dad's from Georgia, but my mom immigrated from France to go to grad school in the US, um, so they just met each other in like the Engineering department. My parents met at a barbecue. My dad was in it. the military, so he was in Osan Air Base in South Korea. And my mom was at that barbecue because she lived near Osan. She would tell me. About I believe it because yeah, uh, the niggas in the military when they when they go overseas they be fucking, bro. The amount like in Vietnam, bro. The amount of half black Vietnamese children there from the Viet like parents that are Vietnam veterans is outstanding. Like, you just think it's like a whole bunch of Negroes in this one area. Nah, bro. Like, it's from the war. Really weird. Look that shit up. It's crazy. Up in shorts and flip flops and a button up tee <laughs> with like a Russian bear hat, and it was winter. <laughs> and they're just like, and then you ended up marrying him. She's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, my parents met in LA, which is like the mixing pot. So it makes sense. Yeah. I guess. Okay. It makes sense. She had said that her parents had met in LA. But she didn't really elaborate on that. Everyone else had kind of gone into more detail about their parents, and I felt well, like that was a little strange. I don't know how my parents met, so um, I I'll give her that. From Arizona. Um, they met, um, I would say, at a bar, I think. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my mom um, is from, like, the Navajo. Oh, why is she so tall as shit, bro? <laughs> we got through the questions. God, okay. damn. Got tall as hell. You gotta be a basketball player. I'm dunking on this. I was just noticing girls. that she seemed nervous and Nothing she didn't have girls. a lot of details. Yeah. On the most simplistic standpoint, Ella looked the whitest, even yeah. though obviously it's not truly about that. Yeah, this is the white passing, bro. We have a three-way tie. Oh. She's one-fourth oh. black. Between Ella, 
Caitlin and Dario. You guys mm. are gonna have 30 seconds on the clock to just kind of prove your case. So my hair, I have an afro normally, but it's all Yeah, rated. actually, yeah, yeah, look, you can see, so you have a little... I four B curls, which I would only know if I was mixed. I get that from my yeah. dad. Everything yeah, yeah, else yeah, is yeah. white because, I mean, my dad's all right. half Belgian. All right. she, she's she's straight, she's straight, she's straight. So it has to be her, it has to be her. So I just, unfortunately... It has to be her, locked in, locked in, locked in, it has to be her. But it's all in my hair, I promise. My mom's from France. She's from a place called Rennes in Brittany. Um, and then Glenn my dad grew up in Brittany. Deborah, Georgia. But I actually also grew up in Arizona because they moved there and had me and my younger brother, younger sister. My sister and I are kind of the palest, what my brother actually looks like. <laughs> back. Um, so yeah, it's a weird liminal space to be in. Okay. What I was going to say before is that my mom is from the Navajo Nation Reservation um, and my dad is Mexican. He just grew up in Arizona, so okay. you know I have equal like a balance. I don't know anything both, too much I about guess. that, so I can't say. Yeah. So you know, they be meeting places. You know, giggling thing? or laughing in her story, and I thought, hmm, there's something suspicious here. Hey, all right. <laughs> Good luck, guys. <laughs> nah, giggling, <laughs> laughing. Yeah. That happens when people are nervous. Let me tell you, quick story. So I was in uh, what a uh, speech class or public speaking class. My bad. And this girl was talking about her grandma and how like at first she she said that when she talks she like when she gets nervous and shit and like all that she she laughs. So she was talking about how she went to Thanksgiving some shit and her grandma was in the hospital and you know she was like they loved her grandma this and that and on thanksgiving night her grandma went to the no night before thanksgiving went to the hospital or something like that or like a week before she was in the hospital for a while thanksgiving day and you're like yeah i'm gonna bring stuff for grandma da, da, da. pull up to the hospital Gra granny's dead and she started laughing bro and everybody was silent and i'm in the back bro I wanted to bust out laughing because her laughing was so awkward. And I, I just wanted, to, like, I know it's, it sounds fucked up, but, like, I just needed to laugh, bro. And, it, like, that shit was, I was like, <laughs> and the person next to me was looking at me like, I'm crazy. And I'm like, like, it was just, like, the situation was so awkward and weird, bro. I'm pale, I thought, you know, might have gotten me voted out. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you'd wish to continue the game. I had a question because yes. you said that you're growing up in Quapa. Um, or like, or sorry, like, because you're, you're a quarter, right? Oh, oh, that's what it's called? Oh, yeah. That's good to know. <laughs> By my back I have yeah. a friend that's Quapa fit. Um, yeah. I guess like, what was Quapa. that like for you as far as I know it was like a biracial hey, I'm a full like, black person. Like I've like never heard of no Quapa. Sometimes. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm the lightest of me and my siblings i have a younger sister who's like the color of rihanna and then my brother is super tan and so then mm. there's me white girl with a giant afro and people are always like how is your hair so frizzy i'm like well it's curly it's an afro you know explaining to people like who i am it was hard at times but then i also okay. was really proud that i got to say like oh i'm part black but if i see her in the street bro yeah, walking by like briefly i'm like black. white shit with braids one thing i felt is like I've actually been to India like multiple times and whenever I go, I'm like the lightest one there. So I just don't feel Indian at all, really. He said that he had been to India and he just kind of threw that out there. And that felt really quick and just like, a, but there wasn't any detail to the story. Yeah, for me being from Colorado, my experience has always been too Asian to be white here in Colorado, but here at UCLA where I'm at right now, where it's uh -huh. a lot more diverse, I'm feeling like sometimes I'm too white to be Asian. So okay, I'd be hearing that about people that are like biracial. So I think that's one of the stories. All right. or one of the but he could just be saying that shit. I don't know. I think when I was younger, I was a little more ambiguous looking. Like people would kind of joke I was like a chameleon growing up because I didn't look the same every couple of years. But it was like, I would always get like made fun of a lot by like other Korean students who would say like, there's like slurs for like biracial people. Um, and so it was always like, oh, people like you just shouldn't exist and stuff like that. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Still here. All right. So I believe her. All right. I grew up in predominantly white neighborhoods my whole life. Um, and I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak Navajo. I never had a quinceanera. Damn. So I'm not really like 
100% in like each culture. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, for me, growing up mostly with my mom's family, who's majority white, and then my dad's family lives farther away. So soul food and all that stuff, I kind of missed out on. And I got to kind of explore later in life, but that's something that I always wish I had. Okay. I'm glad we all got to talk. Yeah, that was a good discussion. That might be a white woman. His like story was not as consistent. There were some things that had some detail and I, then some other things. Uh, I just came, I, I just had a realization. So if they're saying biracial and you take the prefix of bi, the definition of bi is two. And Ella is three fourths white and one fourth black. That isn't bi. She's not half. So I think they're trying to trick us. So Ella, Ella might be it, bruh. Because um, it says it. Six biracial. Let me stop talking. That were a lot less detailed. I'm chatting right now. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Sucks to lose, but it's all good. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue the game. One when the group person. eliminated Devin, I think we found them all. I think we're good now. If the light turns green, one that white means person. you have voted the mole out and you all win. 100% Caucasian. However, if the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. <laughs> it's racing. It might be that nigga in the blue. Oh, shit. Gas money for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Will the mole please reveal themselves in three, two? The way she one. cheesing has to be the chick with the purple. I knew it. Oh. I knew it. I'm, I'm that guy. <laughs> Arab, Middle Eastern. <laughs> Which is I knew it. I said she was in Middle US. Eastern. People from North Africa, so like Egypt, Tunisia, yeah. Algeria, yeah. etc., and people from the Middle yeah. East are considered white on the U.S. Census. So it really goes to show how arbitrary <laughs> the term white is in the ways in which it's applied to people. What? I always think I it's silly that. that on the census it's, it's, you know, black, white, Asian. The categories are so limited. And so when I'm doing the census, I just put white because I look like I'm white. It just goes to the way you got the braids on. matter what somebody looks mm. like. Like you could be biracial, like your hair. I would have thought, okay, I, I could believe that you're mixed because you have the curly hair, but you, you never know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Like, share, subscribe to Sheetums, you know what I'm saying? I love doing these shits, so, you know, hit your boy up, watch the video, send them to your cousin, send them to your mom.